Let's talk now about those different historical sources for the life of Jesus. Now these historical sources for the life of Jesus can be divided into three main categories. Now first off you have the Gospels and this is what everybody thinks about when we're talking about the life of Jesus. So we've got the Gospels here that is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The next type of historical source for the life of Jesus are the New Testament epistles. Now we're going to talk more about this in a minute, but these are basically the letters of Paul, James, John, Peter, the New Testament epistles, that is, the epistles outside of the Gospels. These are different sources, as I've said before. The third type of historical source for the life of Jesus are the non-Christian documents, documents outside of the New Testament, but also written by non-Christians. So writers like Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny, Suetonius, and a few others. So these are the three main historical sources for the life of Jesus. You've got the Gospels, you've got the New Testament epistles, and then you've got the non-Christian writings. Now regarding the Gospels, we have to make an important clarification. First of all, you got what we could call the Gospels proper. That is, the Gospels in their finished form, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But what you also need to know is that most scholars today think that the Gospel writers use sources. They had, they had access to sources when they wrote their own Gospels. This comes from a certain internal analysis of the Gospels. When you look at all the texts and you lay them out side by side, you can see certain commonalities and differences, which indicate that they had different sources. And scholars name these sources in this way. You have what scholars call Q, the Q tradition. That's just material that's in both Matthew and Luke, but not anywhere else. You've got what's called the M tradition, which is just material that is found only in Matthew. You've got L tradition, which is material found only in Luke. It's also recognized that there are oral traditions behind the Gospels. And you have what some scholars call a pre-Markan tradition, which is the source where the Gospel writer Mark got his material. So we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but for now, I just want you to know that when we talk about the Gospels, we could talk about just the Gospels proper, that is, in their final format, or we could be talking about the Gospel sources behind them. But again, we'll get into this a little bit later.